What is law of attraction? All that good stuff. Yeah. So law of attraction is a new age philosophy in where they believe that like attracts like, right? And I know, I know that's a very simplistic statement, but just work with me here. Um, meaning like thoughts attract those thoughts to you. So in a completely like seventh grade reading level explanation, your thoughts are frequencies that go out into the universe. And those frequencies are on a specific thing that you would like to attract. Or even if you do not know that it's on a frequency, you're attracting something. So your your thoughts go out into the universe and you are attracting to yourself whatever your predominant thoughts are. So if you're constantly thinking about a Lamborghini, you are going to be attracting a Lamborghini to you. If that were true, I would have a Lamborghini, right? Um, if you're constantly thinking about the woman of your dreams, you'll eventually track attract that woman of your dreams to you. If you're thinking positive thoughts about your body weight and that you're at the perfect weight, you are attracting your perfect weight to you. If you're thinking all the time focused on a million dollars, you will attract a million dollars to you. So whatever you're sending out is coming back to you. You send it out to the universe, it comes back to you. And as long as you remain on that frequency of what it is you will, you're desiring, you will attract or manifest that into your life because the universe responds to your thoughts. It's, it's like a machine, right? It doesn't have a, uh, what's, what's interesting is they'll say that it, that it's a force, but then they talk about the force as if this force is an actual being, but they look at it like it's a, like it's a force that, that just responds to what it is you're thinking, right? So if you're thinking yeah. something negative, you're going to bring negative stuff to you. If, you. if you're thinking something positive, you're going to bring positive stuff to you. And you constantly have to be thinking about what it is you want in your life because the second you stop thinking and focusing on that, you start attracting, it, it starts repelling from you again. So I know I said seventh grade reading level, but that was not seventh grade. Thank you for listening to that interview clip. If you enjoyed it and you want to listen to full interviews and learn more about religion, not just from academia, but from people who actually believe in these religions, subscribe to this podcast. And as always, friends, go out there and light the world yourselves.